Today I'm going to share with you the uh, very minimum of handling force flow and momentum in the body based on the uh, Xiu Lim Tao sets. Uh, so this is about the seven bowls technology. Okay. So the seven bowls, we can look at that as a seven power center. So each of this power center have its purpose and functions. Okay, let's go through all the seven bowls one by one. The first one is the feet bowl. Okay, the second one is the ankle bowl. The third one is the knee bowls. The fourth one is the hip bowls. The fifth one is the shoulder bowls. The sixth is the elbow bowls. The seventh is the wrist bowls. So as what we can see here, the seven bowls or seven power center actually is consists of six joints of the body, which is the ankle, uh, the knee, the hip, the shoulder, the uh, elbow, and the wrist, plus the feet. Okay? So they are totally of seven. Now, the feet bowl, or this uh, bowl number one here, is responsible for coupling uh, the force in and out of the crown. Okay, because humans stand on the uh, on their feet. Okay, so the this feet bowl is very important. Uh, it it is actually handle how good is the coupling in and out from the ground. Okay, the coupling the force in and out from the ground. And uh, the second bowls, third bowls, actually is the support of the first bowl, okay? So if one wants to generate a power, generate force or power, one use the second and the third bowls with the first bowls to generate it here, okay? To generate it here, okay? The fourth bowl it's like a steering wheel of the uh, of the uh, car, okay. And uh, it's still uh, meaning that it channel the uh, the 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 force flow, okay. And however, uh, one thing must be cautious here is that because Wing Chun is the inner gate art, so this steel, this steering wheel. It's not uh, the same with uh, other art such like Tai Chi. Uh, the in Wing Chun, it, it tends to not move that much. It's just like a steering wheel. You don't move that much when you drive a car in high speed. That's how the you know the uh, the, 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 the the idea about it. Okay. The fifth bowl, which is the solder bowl, actually consists of the solder and the solder blade. This bowl, this bowl, this fifth bowl actually is uh, converting the force from ground up, okay, which is the uh, vertical into horizontal, okay. So that is the functions of the uh, the the solder bowls, and then you come to the six bowls which is the elbow bowls. These elbow bowls can serve as a, uh, a storage, a temporary storage of energy or force. Okay, this is the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the elbow bowls. Okay, now, and then there's a wrist bowl, the seven bowls. Okay, this is a uh, Usually, it serves as an aiming, you know, like the gun barrier, okay, the gun barrier, the, the, the barrier of the pistol uh, for aiming, okay. So, that's how the basic seven bowls operate 
of course they all these bowls can be used as a, 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 a transmission transmission meaning that it's a like a transmission line it uh, it transmit force to different part of the body and also uh, a different purpose but for you know for the simply uh, stick for simplistic uh, uh, introductions okay we just want to talk about uh, this much for now okay so uh, as what we can see from this seven bowls uh, based on the third and the second bowls and the uh, first bowls you generate power and then you use the fourth to steal it up to the body you use the fifth you to uh, to convert it to the uh, to horizontal from the vertical you use the sixth to uh, transmit it seven to transmit it out from the body so it's going out like that and going out okay now then you ask me so uh, what do you mean by uh, the, uh, the the six can use for the uh, temporary storage okay okay so what it, what 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 it means is this uh, sometimes this bowls okay can be used as a temporary uh, uh, power center okay instead of uh, using say for example the 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 the, the feet the ankle and the knee, which is the major power uh, generations or the power control uh, center. So you can use this, okay? And uh, for example, in the high speed situations that uh, one not be able to use this one because it falls falling down to the ground that you take times, people can use this. Uh, elbow bowls to handle it okay and then use the lower three bowls here to support it okay which is a later so that's how it is okay now in order to use this make use of this seven bowls one need to activate it if one is not activated one will not be able to use it okay so we talk about open up the bowls open up each joints or each area so how to open that up well loose and expand every joints here okay the feet the 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 the, the ankle the knee the uh, hip the shoulder the uh, elbow the wrist all this has to be loose and expand open it up okay so uh, it cannot be stretched or tense uh, or, or you know it has to be expand and uh, the uh, the the uh, and loose it cannot be just a uh, stress there okay so that is how it is so the first thing in order to use the seven bowls is one need to open up all these joints okay or or all these seven power center otherwise one will not be able to use it okay because if uh, any tense in the in the joints meaning that one cut off the transmissions and cut off the operations okay now once one open up the this joints once one open up all the seven uh, uh, bowls okay the six joints and the feet one need to develop something what we, we uh, what we call the force flow path force flow path is to align this bowls or this joints and the feet such that force can flow up to the to, to the you know like in this case from the uh, from the feet to the to the to the fingertips smoothly okay or the the, the same thing is like uh, the force can flow from hand down to the uh, to the feet and couple down into the ground smoothly that is what i mean by force flow path there is a path of uh, a force uh, a path for force to flow okay 
So after one, uh, open up, activate the uh, the 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 seven bowls. One need to develop this force flow path, meaning that one need to uh to to train, uh, how to align this uh this joints and feet in order to uh to uh, channel uh force flow to different directions or different locations of the body. Okay. Once one be able to do that, then one has to deal with the receiving and issuing. So receiving meaning that to receive this force flow and then coupling down to the ground. Issuing mean that you generate the force flow here and then you send it out. Okay? So that is the force flow path receiving and issuing training which one need to 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 uh to train otherwise one not be able to use it okay so of course okay what we talk about today is uh is the full integrations of the seven joints or seven bowls sorry the seven bowls and uh the seven bowls actually can be used in a partial manner meaning that as we talk about just now about the uh the the, the knee sorry the uh, elbow joints which can use for temporary meaning that one can use this elbow and the wrist and the shoulder for a partial or a local uh, power generations and uh, and transmission so forth uh, to do the receive and issuing without using the uh, the lower three bolts here okay so there's an example for local, or even sometimes one use a single bolt, like the wrist bolt, to do a power generations, uh, coupling, uh, and so forth. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of things can be said about the seven bolts uh, if we go into the details and go into advanced level. But uh, for the basic, uh, is uh, just what I have mentioned. Uh, previously okay now one thing i want to call your attention is this we talk about our wing chun eg kamyang ma in xiu lim tao okay so uh the for xiu lim tao for the eg kamyang ma the very important key is that this bowls Must not lock. Must not lock. Why? 